Third combat flight has been carried out by me on 11th of March 2022. On board there were four tons of high explosive aviation bombs. After execution of, after we received coordinates, during the execution of the combat operation I have understood that the target of a combat operation was not military infrastructure of the enemy, but residential buildings. Despite this I have executed the criminal order. After a bombing, I have been shot down by anti-air systems of Ukraine. After the touchdown, I was taken prisoner by servicemen of Ukrainian National Guard. I understood and confessed to the terrible crimes committed by me. I want to ask for forgiveness of all Ukrainian people and God for all the misfortune that we have brought to them. I promise full commitment to bring about the end to this war as soon as possible and to bring all those guilty in the genocide of Ukrainian people. I also wish to address all servicemen of Russian Federation Armed Forces to members of my platoon. Immediately cease the execution of criminal orders. Immediately cease all combat operations. Immediately cease the bombing of peaceful cities. It is my opinion that we have already lost this war. Давай. Да не будет до 15, там будет еще дальше. А вам что-нибудь говорили? Не говорят, просто помирать. Да? А, а когда вас обратно вернут? Не хотят, порылы, потому что дебилы. Так скажи же. Я говорю, а они просто не хотят, я не понимаю, почему. Эвакуировать осталось 300 процентов всего лишь. Всех перебило. Сколько Антон? осталось? 30 процентов полка. Нас всех перебили. Грантометы, минометы. And say Russian warplanes fired 30 missiles, 22 intercepted, eight hitting this military base near the Polish border in Yavariv, where American forces were recently training the Ukrainian army as part of a NATO mission killing at least 35 people and wounding 134. And in Mariupol, Russian tanks caught on camera firing at this nine-story apartment building. Russia warned that it would attack the NATO resupply routes, and that is what they did. A barrage of missiles struck the military base just before 4 a.m. on Sunday morning. This base has been a hub for some of the weapons that have been brought in from Europe 
and a centre to train foreign fighters joining the conflict. We don't know if any of them were killed. Nearly three weeks into this war and Ukraine's president walks freely on the streets of the capital, Kyiv. Volodymyr Zelensky visited staff at a hospital today. He is leading this nation through a war, but this was as much about a photo call as it was a morale booster. Get well. I wish you health. Be strong. Well done, guys. Strength is what they need right now, because this is the northeastern city of Kharkiv, a city pounded into submission. I have seen here on this street... And this is Maria, and she explains how Ukraine's second largest city is now paralyzed. Over there, you would see the university building, uh, and it used to be a very lively area. It's hard to imagine how civilians can be attacked. That is, after all, a war crime. And yet this block of flats in Chernihiv was struck by a rocket. In Irpin, just north of Kyiv, fierce fighting. An American photojournalist, Brent Reno, was killed in an attack by Russian forces. Another journalist was injured. It's not clear who they were working for. But time here is running out for those trying to escape the fighting.